All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right. If you don't mind, uh, I'd like to ask you to stand up and take, let's have a greetings time moments. Let's have uh, about five people to say happy birthday. Okay, please stand up. Okay. All right. Happy birthday. Okay. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday, okay. right. uh, happy birthday be, uh, actually belated uh, birthday to the uh, Peter Kim. He was, a, his birthday was uh, last Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, right? Okay, thank you, yeah. And I know you, you will be really happy when you have a birthday, um, so you feel like special, and a special day, a special feeling uh, about maybe kids, and you may say thank you to your parents and also invite a lot of friends to your home or took them to take them to the uh, different locations you know, for fun purpose. But one of the most meaningful uh, messages is, in terms of a birthday is study, new start. You are you know, beginning a new life and I mean, all the moments, relationship, that's the meaning of uh, the birthday. So today, I prepare a little bit special sermon uh, for our school anniversary. Um, well, I was thinking about this message, um, you know, a while actually, um, and then what was a good message, you know, for this topic and sermon? I select special topic is this one, um, fit my ship. I'd like to share about this one, uh, many things, um, maybe with uh, some examples. Uh, for younger students, I'm so sorry, a little bit, so a little bit tough, but um, the good, you know, uh, stories, illustration, I will give you uh, for your understanding, the better understanding. Fit my ship. One, one of actually, um, let's say, the statement we often use in English, it is called take for, take for granted. In Korean is 당연하지. 당연하게 여기다. When I was uh, um, age about 20 or 30, it's like in I mean, Korea, there's a lot of celebrities, they uh, c come up the TV show and they kind of sort of have uh, some um, fun games. It is called 당연하지. It's like for examples, uh, like I called you, maybe I called uh, to one. But you have to say 당연하지 every time, right? So which means of course or certainly. 동원, 너 잘생겼지? 당연하지. 너 여자친구 있지? 당연하지. Something like that. So all the time we said 당연하지. It's like um, it is called the uh, take for granted. Um, we do. Have, I mean, my family has two uh, animals, pets. At least more than thirty minutes every day, I have a special commitment to spend my own time, which is like for my cat, my dog. Every morning, 30 minutes, or at least afternoon at night time. I came back yesterday from school to about 10 p.m. last night. And no matter what happened, I spent at least one hour for my dog. Not kids, but my pets. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. <laughs> so my, my daughter and my son said, oh, Coco and Minky, they're our Soyeol Isuni. They're number ranking two. <laughs> In, in our family members. I consider my dog and my cat as a, one of my family members. Whether uh, my, my wife and my kids, they don't like it, but I, I really like it. So, of course, my, I love my kids and also my, you know, my family, my wife. So, the minky on, on the right side, they're getting older actually, about age 10. Um, you know, minky is about around age 10 or 11. And the Coco is about AG um, 11, 12. Well, um, interesting is their background, personal background, is not rich, which means uh, beautiful. Cat, Coco, came from street, the street cat. So we adopt this cat as a what, family member. And we provide a lot of medication shelters, which is house. During winter time, I'm living in a house, so it's not warm you know, at all. This uh, winter season, pretty cold, right? A lot of snow, and like more than like 
20 uh, or 50 minus you know, Celsius pre a freezing weather. So my sister and I, we spent a lot of money every month. I kind of calculated about up to 30만 원, about $300. We spent every month for feeding, taking care of uh, two uh, pets. You know, sometimes we uh, bought the uh, vitamins, 비타민도 사고, right? Sometimes we bought a special clothes. We bought a special the, uh, house, warm you know, house, and scratchers, like uh, cats love scratching. And this picture actually, he suddenly, even this morning, he, he came to me and then meow, meow, like this way, for this reason. Massage, touching his you know, hip. The cat loves this one, massage. And then and all the time scratching. And then if I stop it, and he what? Cat like was gonna bite me, something like that. He's kind of mad. Keep doing, keep doing. You're not my owner. Keep doing like this way. And the cat, a dog, he he loves snack, and you know sometimes uh, he wanna have a special meal. It is called what meat, right? So we purchase a lot of organic, healthy, <laughs> not junk food. Even we we provide a lot of good food. Interesting also. Uh, Minky is from, it's like street dog, you know, it's not a, you know, really fancy, rich, you know, the Sunjong dog, right? So, uh, we, we, once again, uh, owners, uh, as a owner, um, I all the time try to take care of this, you know, our two of the pets as a family member. But what I realized that sometimes, they took this great opportunity for granted, which means, oh, you know what? I don't remember my old life, which means my street cat, my street dog. I'm actually, I do have a special house, my special owner and a family member, so I do deserve get to get this one, you know, every day. So providing some food, sometimes they didn't finish. What? You didn't finish? I provided some lot of different snack, but they didn't eat. They smell it, they stop eating, which means being spoiled. Sometimes I feel like frustrating. Am I doing well, treating them well? Or maybe make them spoil too much with fancy style life or food, too much love? But I never stopped treating them with bad food, or which means I'm treating, I'm all the time treating them with special food and love. Why? Because I want to take care of them with my love. Apostle Paul, Peter, he was uh, the fisherman. So, 어부였어요, fisherman, you know, as you know that fisherman is like an uneducated person, which has never been to school, never learned about any special education, and even from the really poor family member. So he grew up in a little town, you know, Galilee, and never heard about, you know, countryside, you know, that town, you know, 2,000 years ago. And all the time he fighting, it is called survival mode, every night, every day. He, you know, rent the boat, and go to the, uh, you know, some ocean or river, and you know, toss cast the you know, net, fish, fishing net, and all the time praying that God help me to catch a lot of fish. Then I could survive it today. I could be a little bit better than yesterday. So day by day, he did lean on his own net, fish. One day, he met a special person. Never ever met this guy. But when he suddenly asked him that, can I join? Can I ride on your boat? And it looks like he's a gentle person and smart person, maybe nice person. So he was willing to say, yes, you know, you could join. His name is Jesus. And he suddenly called his name, Peter. Oh, <gasps> surprising. I never knew this guy, but he called my name. How do you know? And he just commanded him that, let's go to the deep in the, in the ocean, in the river, 
then you're gonna catch a lot of fish. But he knew you know, it's the right time to catch a lot of fish, but he followed his direction. He went there and he experienced what? So many fish and he needed some assistance, which means another boat, but what, transport or put the extra a lot of fish. You know, two boats to fill up and then what? He confessed that master, teacher, to Jesus that I would like to follow you. And he called, what is called, you are my first disciple. 예수님이 베드로에게 첫 번째로 부르신 것이 바로 제자, 학생이셨어요. First person, as a what? Disciple. He was so proud of himself because uh, he had another, I mean the other 11 friends, colleagues, disciples. So including himself, total 12 disciples Jesus called and working together, teaching you know, about God's message. And with this, you know, all the ministry experiences, whenever he followed Jesus, he's all the time he wants to be what? First, number one disciple among his friends and you know, colleagues. So one day he was on the boat with his you know, friends or disciples. But he knew that, wow, the journey is not easy. Why? Because it's storming and rainy, and a lot of windy. Like, so go through and they're facing, it is called death moment. <gasps> they're about to die, like storming, the rainy. But they could see the, all the Jesus disciples on the boat to sit or someone walking toward their boat. It was a midnight, after night, midnight. And it's a dawn, I mean, they are really foggy. Hard to see, but one person walking on the water. They found out, Jesus, what? Is a ghost? But Peter confessed that, no, he's not the ghost. He's Jesus Christ. And he said, Jesus, Master, can I walk on the water? And Jesus said, yes, you could. And he started to walk on the water. However, he's got what's you know, fear. Then suddenly he fell into the water. And Jesus, but somehow probably him, you know, Peter, because he was in you know, faith and he saved the Peter's life. So Peter, once again, he experienced Jesus' love specially with this, you know, through this experience, walking on the water and even watching the you know, like healing people feeding 5,000 people, wow! I am the first disciple for Jesus who what? It is called King or Messiah, a smart person. So one day I will become, you know, right next to his person, what is called a vice president, or maybe assistant for Jesus as a king, something like that, big dream all the time he had. Because what himself, it is called first disciple. And in this situation, Jesus, he was about to die on the cross. All the time mentioned that one day I'm going to die on the cross. On the, one day I'm going to die for you. However, Peter all the time confessed that I'm going to save you. I'm going to protect you. No matter what happened. However, when the uh, soldiers of Jewish, they came and they grabbed Jesus. And Peter tried to protect them, fight for Jesus. With what? The sword. Is it? And, and uh, Jesus commanded, do not fight. And then he stopped. What happened to Peter? He ran away. He escaped. I mean, they ran away from Jesus Christ. However, Jesus, he want to follow Jesus until his you know, death moment. And this moment is crucifixion, which means about to die on the cross. And it was uh, midnight, some the Jewish people, which was the ladies, came to Peter, are you the one of Jesus' disciples? That question made him in trouble, which means what? If he confessed that I know Jesus, then he will be captured or go to jail. He suddenly confessed that, no, and I do not know that person, no. I never knew this person. 
No, I never follow this guy. He denied three times, and Jesus looked at Peter, and he said, I knew you're going to say that way. Jesus knew that this moment. However, all the time, Jesus, he forgives, and he, he said, I love you. Well, after this experience, Peter, he considered himself as what? Sinful person. He doesn't deserve to get any Jesus love. All the time he considered, I am the first disciple of Jesus Christ. I do deserve to get better, you know, maybe support and love from Jesus among, among my you know, friends. But after, you know, experience of Jesus' crucifixion, which was denying three times, he confessed that I do not deserve God's love. I do deserve to go to maybe hometown all the time. So he felt like stop taking you know, this great opportunity for granted. Became a humble person. Humble, it is called servant. In this moment, the resurrected Jesus Christ came to Peter's life again. And this is the moment he met Jesus' disciples, in including Peter. And he said this one. What the Bible said, John chapter 21, verse 17. A third time he asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. He said, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said, then fit my ship. First time, Jesus asked, do you love me? And second time, do you love me? And third time, do you love me? Normally, this question comes from the lover, actually. If I love my kid, then I will ask, do you love me? I never ask this question to strangers on the street. They never met the person that I scrapped the person that, do you love me? Then the he or she may consider me as well crazy. But all the time, I confess this word, which is a love. Do you love me? To the person, I love you. I love all the time. Jesus, he knew Peter was a bad person. Even though he called him as the first disciple. Even though he called him, you're the rock, which I will build on my church. You'll be the first foundation of my church. Entire history. What an honor. What a respectful. Catholic, the Catholic Church, the you know, priest, which means the, uh, um, they consider Peter as the first father of the church. And he experienced about this moment, which is a special love from God, Jesus. And Peter confessed that, Jesus, I love you. I'll follow you. I will never, ever deny your name anymore. But the last commitment, commitment from Jesus said, what is it? Fit my ship. This is the message. All the time remains. Peter's his life as a what? First disciple. Not arrogant. Not selfish. Humble servant. Humble disciple. And he decided, I'm going to die for Jesus Christ. He evangelized, he go to any locations and proclaim name of Jesus as a Messiah and even Savior to Gentiles, even to all the Jewish people. And this is the picture that how he died on the cross upside down. He doesn't deserve to die like Jesus Christ. What he said, I do deserve to die, not like Jesus, but upside down as a humble servant. We call Apostle Peter, it is called Simon Peter, a slave, an apostle of Jesus Christ. We call him as the first disciple as what? Humble servant, humble slave of Jesus Christ. And he was willing to die for Christ. Taking a special things for our granted, there are so many things. One of the things is this one, the food. 
I love actually American pancakes as a breakfast. When we went to the States, wow, so heaven. It was like heavenly, you know, like syrup and uh, like this much the size of the, the food. When I look at your lunch time, you guys are happy, but a lot of kids that I don't like lunch, school lunch food, I'm kind of tired. You could say that, seriously, like from, let's say, first grader to senior, about 12 years at lunch here, maybe. You may say that, I do understand. But look at this, one. the food, wasting food too much. I feel like that way. A lot of people, they die without food today. Africa, even North Korea, famine. Lack of food they're facing, which means we're taking this opportunity for what? Granted. 당연하게 음식이 있다라고 우리는 항상 생각한다는 Another one is air. This is the uh, beautiful picture of the uh, Namsan, Seoul downtown. When I went to the, uh, actually, the, when I, I had a special guest from the States, my foreigner in America, I all the time took them to the Namsan, all the times. It's a cave car, Kaso, Mashiko, Ko, Donkasu, Mashicho. It's like Namsan or Myeongdong area, right? But one of the days I remember, it's like what? Smog. Wow, what a shameful air we have. Like during winter time, spring time, monsoon season, no monsoon season, it is. The you know, air coming from the you know, west, which means like bad air coming, and we're facing this moment. Now, even hard to have a P class too. But we feel that air, today we do, we're breathing right now, but we deserve to get this one, which is about taking this opportunity for granted. We feel all the time, I do deserve to get air, no matter what. It is not a very special gift from God. Another one is what? Friends. I took a lot of pictures like this. Is it? Lois and yeah, James. <laughs> Jason, sorry. Jason. It's a probably there of a fifth grader or in the fourth grader. And then here are the pictures like, like you know, US tree, a lot of you know, friends, and we went to Universal Studio, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge. A lot of famous schools like Stanford, USC, Biola, and another one is like um, this one is uh, NYU East Coast trip, and the Columbia, Harvard, MIT, Boston University. Well, in terms of my life, actually in terms of my life, I visit so many schools, so many u universities, for college, maybe uh, some counseling purposes or some my personal maybe learning maybe knowledge about college. Many, many times, many, many trips to college I had. But all the time, remember, special trip with students and friends and families. If you go to Gyeongju, Busan, Jeju-do, or other countries by yourself, maybe really special. But more special is what? Being with friends, being with your parents, being with your special person, lover, lovers, then that experience, that trip, will all the time remember or remain in your life. That's why I want to encourage you guys, especially the new students, join those who join this semester as of a freshman or the, the newcomer, join school, any opportunity, learning activities, and go to any fellowship moments. Then what? You're not going to remember study. You will remember friendship. You will remember love. You will remember pain moment, painful moment or suffering moment and some successful moment through your friends, friendship, and even love with teachers. That is a special school friendship, school life. I want to encourage you guys, especially a field trip. We're going to have a trip, trip to Jirisan, trip to the uh, Gyeongju, and trip to the, some failed trip experiences, being with friends, being with teachers, what a special. Not to, do not consider this great opportunity for what granted. 당연하게 친구들이 있고, 당연하게 선생님이 있다라는 것을 여기면 안 된다는 것. It comes from God. And I consider this one to also colleagues, your teachers, it's special friends to me. If you may not know that there are so many teachers 
in our school, actually, they came from the, you know, overseas, which means the states and different countries, actually. They are, their parents, their family members, they're still, they're, they're, their countries feel like sometimes homesick. Sometimes they miss their countries. Sometimes they miss their cultures, miss their food. Then what we have to do as what? Family, we have to support them. Consider them as what? Our family members. Even though they may teach, they teach you, consider, you consider them as teacher mentors. We have to love and support. Do not take this opportunity for granted, which means what? You deserve to get them here? No, not really. God send them as a special mentors to your life. Special life. And family. Well, sometimes we consider this one. You know, this is the, uh, actually there are kids, uh, younger kids time, it's like we went to the uh, uh, Japan and the Disney, uh, the Disneyland, right? The Tokyo Disneyland. And then we, the, the day we came back, actually the, at the airport. But now grew up, it's the, the Kujong time, the Chinese New Year time. My you know, father-in-law, uh, he, what he said that, okay, 세배하지 마, do, do not bow to me, I will pray for you. And they, they call two kids, and then special moment, prayer time. And it's, you know, prayer, pray for, you know, grandkids. What a great, the family moment. Not the 세뱃돈, not the, you know, food. Special moment, blessing, next generation. Great family. You do have great family. Your mom and dad, your family, your brother and sister. Sometimes you, you said, I hate my brother. I hate my sister. You could say that, but consider them as a special brother and sister, as a family member. Last one is, uh, the last one is this one, freedom. Sometimes I actually watch the YouTube. Uh, it is called the, um, um, it is called, I forgot her name, but the, uh, she, the on the right side person came from North Korea. Was, uh, both of them, they're defectors. 탈북자, 여러분 잘 모르겠지만 요즘 탈북자가 너무 너무 많아지는 거 모르시죠? It's like there are so many defectors these days. Um, on the left side person, she uh, escaped from North Korea at, when she was age 14 and with the family members. Two younger sisters, older sisters and the mom. And that's the picture that they crossed the border line in river. And to where? China. And immediately they land to the China and then some Chinese people, they found out, oh, they're defectors from North Korea. And on the way, the, the, the small truck suddenly opened the door and they grabbed all the sister, which is about her age was 15, and trying to rape it, rape her. And, you know, um, they took, uh, you know, took them to the, uh, uh, the, in the, the prison in their car, and then uh, they raped her and just you know, threw her. So they found, actually, uh, their older sister later. So their entire family member, they became homeless one day. And then they have no choice, so they went to Mongolia by walking. Can you believe? Mongolia is huge, I mean, even China too. No transportation. They took, they were walking to Mongolia. Sometimes, you know, hitchhiking, which means they hop on the truck and they went to the Mongolia and went to China and Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, and they went to Korean embassy. And they flew to, from Cambodia or Laos to the what? South Korea. What they confessed that when they had Korean passports, they cried. Special feeling, opportunity, citizenship. What is what? Privilege they had. Now I belong to this country. Now I belong to freedom. I could say, I could talk, I could go any locations. But North Korea, even the uh, go to the different, even home, the town, they go through security, which means they need a special permission. Even they go to, let's say, Gyeonggi-do to Seoul, they have special permission. Whenever they have the Korean passport, what a great, Privilege. Have you ever experienced that? Felt that way? Special moment? We all the time having Korean passport or other country passport. What? We deserve this one. I de deserve to get this one all the time. 
Which means we're taking this opportunity for what? We're granted too much. Last one, school. When we started uh, this uh, community, uh, you know, school, Juniper Christian School now, we went through, it is called COVID-19. You know, during COVID season, we, we had a special like experience, seriously, like a lot of kind of suffering for time. One of the things is what? Online course. We used to, um, you know, have an online course of many uh, like month actually. And, and the many kids that, uh, you know, I, I really like staying home, but what they said, it is hard to catch up the class. One reason, it is called self-management skill. It is hard to join the class right on time, hard to wake up, even finish up the homework by myself. Why? With lack of training, management skill, all the time you guys have, and struggle things. We miss classroom in person during what? COVID season. Even though we are enrolled at school, COVID season, we're struggling all the time. Some of you guys are taking the baby homeschooling, maybe online courses. A lot of parents are struggling when aged about 15 or 16. Physically, you're growing up, social engagement you need. Then you're looking for what? Community, they belong, or experience more about friendship. And another one is, uh, we just, you know, this, in fact, which, uh, the, in, um, what is it called? Uh, I forgot the word. It's like, you know, um, this, 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 in fact, thank you. So we try to disinfect all the facility every moment because air is like what? Inspiration, which means like, uh, it's like you know, we all the time got what, infected by the air. So we you know, all the time, you know, make this place more safe in environment. We don't feel that way today. Every moment, every day, and even chapel. I did a lot of many many times online chapel, not here in person. You know the chroma key. We did it, and every moment you guys were wearing mask. So mask is a mandatory sometimes when you laugh, when you talk, even the you know class time, and this picture. Social distance, which means what? The midterm season, they come and then a certain distance, they're sitting the, on the you know, table and what? Taking midterm. And graduation ceremony. Pictures, what? All the what? Mask. <laughs> we we you know, taking pictures in the wearing mask and we said, great job. You have great, well done, you know, what you have done. Last one is musical. This is the uh, Beauty and the Beast. Guess what? No audience. We, 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 we took this one. We're filming this one. No audience. We, we did it. Thankfully, we made it. However, we don't feel special performance. Why? No any like, big you know, applause and, or any you know, cheering moments. No any you know, interaction from the audience. We feel feel like action performing for just shooting purpose or you know the recording purpose one of uh, korean uh, the singers i really like this guy e jok you know jeol moruk goyo you may not know only maybe he's my age actually i didn't know that like uh, one of his songs it is called as dangyeonan gotdeol what they said the things we took for granted let me give you some lyrics in korean and um, english but let me read the, uh, the English first. At the time, we didn't know what we were enjoying. Walking the streets, meeting friends, holding hands, embracing. Things that were so natural to us. 그때는 알지 못했죠? 우리가 무얼 누리는지, 걸을 걷고, 친구를 만나고, 손을 잡고 껴안아 주던 것. 우리에게 너무나 당연한 것들. At first, we took it lightly, thinking it would pass quickly. Spring came, the sky shone, flowers bloomed, and the wind gently blew. We believed we could go back again. 처음엔 쉽게 여겼고, 금세 또 지나갈 거라고, 봄이 오고, 하늘 빛나고, 꽃이 피고, 바람 살랑이면은 우린 다시 돌아갈 수 있다고. 
All the ordinary days we lived, we suddenly realized how precious they were. Holding each other naturally, loving each other naturally. Until we come back again, let's laugh with all our strength. 우리가 살아, 살아왔던 평범한 나날들이 다 얼마나 소중한지 알아버렸죠. 당연히 끌어안고 당연히 사랑하던 날 다시 돌아올 때까지 우리 힘껏 웃어요. The message is wrong. Spring season 2024. We feel we deserve to get this one. But unfortunately, it is the first time and last time in our lives. Never ever came back to this moment. 2025, we started February, 2020, uh, February 2016. And we were thinking about next step. But before we say that, saying celebrating, congratulating the, on this great achievement or our um, you know, contributions for yourself, in college or academic achievement, or spiritual achievement, whatever. But let's confess that. We have to say, thank you, Lord. Do not consider this great opportunity for what? Just grant, grant it. And say that I do deserve to get this opportunity. Why? Because my parents, maybe because my, um, maybe my families, I do deserve to get? No, not really. God, He called you as what? His ship. And even including myself. And God, He has sent a special person, servant, teachers, mentors and God has sent us it is called special community Juniper Christian School we don't deserve to get this one by the grace of God special grace from God we do have this special for his kingdom and people I believe uh, until we see Jesus let's consider this confess that what Peter mentioned Simon Peter, a slave and apostle of Jesus Christ. And no matter what, we relocate to this community and building. We do not consider say that our school number is growing up. Our school, we're going to have better senior students or our students are academically successful or spiritually successful, mature. Do not say that way. Let's try to be humble and look more focus on what God commanded us as a Christian community and Christian school and Christian students and teachers. And we focus on this one. Feed my sheep. When we achieve or approach this goal, then God will He's continually bless us and use us as what? His, his school, His person, his servant for his kingdom. This is the main purpose while we're studying this community and school. This is the main purpose we celebrate our school birthday today. Let's bow our heads.